up guys it's junior here with another random video uh it's been a while uh thank you for those who have been subbing to my channel appreciate that um like i said it's been a while since i've since i made a video but i've just been busy working paying bills you know all that kind of stuff so anyways this video today is about a fuel pump install on my g35 the car's been dying on me randomly and then it'll work perfect and no problems and it just dies again and then finally left me stranded saturday night picked it up and i'm here now i'm here now so i'm gonna show you how to install a fuel pump on infinity so let's go out to the car I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. So yeah, my car's been, like I said, just been shutting off here and there. And like I said, I know it's not my starter. Can you shut the door, honey? Not the starter, it's not the battery. Uh, it's not the alternator. I don't have any dim dimming lights or you know signs of bad of any of those be going bad um so like i said the signs that are given to me right now is a bad fuel pump hey buddy so, like i said i'm gonna try to install this with one hand all right so first from what i've seen on the videos these right here the seats you just pop them up from the bottom and pull this whole piece out so no. all right i guess you grab it from here oh. i guess this one's already kind of loose So one doesn't one always never one of them always never cooperates oh well, i forgot you put these seat you push these seat bells in to make it easier yeah i know it's dirty i need new back seats this is from the kids so you know when you have kids cars tend to get destroyed sometimes Okay, I'm gonna have to put y'all down real quick. Hold on, let's see here. Man, I do understand when y'all YouTubers say it's hard to film with one hand. All right, I'm gonna try to yank up. Let me see if I can put y'all down up here. All right, hold on real quick. God damn. <clears throat> Fuck. Ah. Whoo. How the fuck? Man. Son of a bitch. Ah. Got it. Got it, guys. It took a little wiggling, but I got it. All right. 
Yes. Got it out. All right. Now, we take it out. Take the whole seat out. Hope I find a stack of money back here. A stack of cash. You know, people always tend to lose things back here. Goodness gracious. Look at that. God damn. I need to get a new one. Well, I am planning on getting all black interior, guys, so I'm not really too worried about that, anyways. So. I bought this car this way anyways, just to let y'all know. I'm not the one that dirtied this shit like this. This is the way it was. But I got this car for a deal, so not worried about it. Oh, and by the way, too, um, I uh, the car's still doing great. For anybody, any of those who have been asking, the car's do, still doing great I, as far as the Blue Devil. Head gasket sealer goes. It's, everything's still running great, guys. So, let's see what we find. Huh, okay. Huh, just a bunch of junk. Hmm. All right. What is this? An O'Reilly's auto part. Alright, anyway, let's get to the video. Let's get to the install. <clears throat> I've never done this before, so it's gonna be the first time that I do this. And I'm praying to God this is what it is. Because I need this car. This is my daily right now. And the same thing is wrong with that truck. The fuel pump is out on it. So I have to get that running too. That's my next thing I'm gonna get running is that truck. For you of those that don't know, my dad left me a 63 that I have in the back and then he left me this truck. So I gotta get this truck running so um, I can start using it. <laughs> Fix it up too. So I have to disconnect the battery. That's what everybody says. So let's go disconnect the battery. Sorry that I'm running out of daylight. I'll try to do my best to get the best lighting that I can for y'all. Shh, you're back. All right. Tighten up that cable though. <clears throat> All right. Get back. Go lay down over there. This boy got up on my hood the other day and scratched it. Had to buff it out. All right. Let me see if I got a flash out. flashlight in here right quick. It's kind of dark. <clears throat> All right, guys, I don't mean to take too long. I'm gonna try to do a quick install. Shh, get back. There it is. Let me see. Yeah. And then for this, from the, that one video that I've seen, you will need, Need a nose, need a nose pliers, and a Phillips, and a flathead. That's all you need to do this install. I'm so happy that this fuel pump is back here, and the 
back seat. Not like that truck. That truck, you got to take the whole fucking bed off or lift the bed up just to change it out. It's kind of a little pain. All right, flash the light. Like I said, I'm sorry about the light. I'm gonna try to do my best to, to make this video clear. I know I've been talking a lot, but sorry. All right, so for these clips, <clears throat> this guy told me to use this needle nose pliers and to grab it and twist it. He said if you use a screwdriver or something, they'll break. So, you grab these, twist them. There you go. Turn them counterclockwise. <clears throat> well, this one doesn't want to cooperate. I'm telling you guys, it's always something. It's always one. There we go. Supposed to just pop up. There we go. Too sturdy as fuck. Okay. Then you disconnect this clip. down on this piece right here then it pops out mine is dirty as fuck god damn Ooh. all right then you just move this to the side look at all that god oh <clears throat> you gotta be careful with this hose right here because that's where some i seen some of them that have pulled it out and fuel started leaking out like crazy so to relieve some fuel pressure um, they told me to, I guess, open the gas cap. So, let's open the gas cap. Why is this open? Open the gas cap to relieve, to relieve some fuel pressure. That's what they said. So, I'm going to do it. Boy, go sit your ass back over there. He thinks we're going for a ride. Okay. Before I do that, I'm going to get my... Going to get my rag that I got here to clean off that area so you don't get no dust in your fuel tank. So... Should have done this earlier the daylight but my ass did it all late because i was a little hungover all right 
Let me also get some rags that I have here. So I can put around that just in case anything leaks out. All right. Pray for me that this goes good. Let me see here. My rag. Let me clean all this out. Oh yeah, I forgot to say, there's two of them. There's that one, and then there's this one. This is where your fuel pump is, and that's where your, it's like a, it's a different one, but that controls your fuel um, level thing or whatever. Not too sure, but this is the one you wanna change anyway, so. This is the one giving me problems. Like I said, just car's been shutting off, and it's still been working, but. It's time to get it changed anyways. It's been years, I'm, I'm sure. Nobody's changed this, so. If y'all have any other questions for me, feel free to comment down below. Like I said, I'm no car mechanic I'm no expert so I'm just self-diagnosing this myself from what the symptoms are at first I'm not gonna lie to you guys at first I was like fuck the blue devil finally took a shit finally the motor finally got done but no obviously it's not nothing to have to do with the engine because it cranks up perfectly fine Everything works great. It's just, these are just parts that go out when you have an older car. When you have an older car, parts tend to go out and you gotta replace them. You know, I'm just, I'm just fortunate at the moment right now. I have uh, the money to fix this. <clears throat> I am trying to get another car for my wife though. Trying to get one pretty soon for her because it's always good to have two running cars, man. And, sh and times like this, like I said, that's why I want to get that truck running back there. My dad's truck running, <sighs> so that way, so that way, um, <clears throat> in case one of ours goes out, then we have a spare. All right, now I'm gonna put this rag around here just in case I don't feel spilling up everywhere tabs in Okay. I forgot if it was just this tube you pull out or if it's this whole thing. Maybe there's tabs in here. Okay. Um, 
let me you know what let me go get the uh, the new the new fuel pump that way I can look at it and see Sorry. Sorry for the cursing. Damn door slammed on my leg. And you know you know you Jeep 35 owners, you know these damn doors are heavy. Fuck. Right on my ankle. Alright. This is a fuel pump that I got. It's a Hitachi. This was about three hundred dollars. Fucking too much. Look at it. Let's see what we're looking. At. Okay. It's the new fuel pump. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. That whole thing comes off. All right. Let's try it again. I'm so sorry for the lighting, guys. <sighs> baby man I hope I didn't break these clips that would suck ass Everything's going good except this now. <clears throat> okay, guys. I'm gonna put y'all down one more time. <clears throat> Sorry guys, it's just fucking hard. Ah, there go. Ah. Woo! dark Let me get the perfect lighting for y'all all right there we go <clears throat> yeah i had to use two hands so i loosened it up so now here it goes hopefully it don't leak everywhere Ooh, it did. 
did it. Got it. Guess I got lucky. Because there's other ones that have done it and fucking gas went everywhere. Okay, so. Let me just put this to the side. Out of the way. Okay, now what we need to do is <clears throat> take all these screws with a Phillips screwdriver. There's about five of them, so let me get the screwdriver. Sorry, I'm moving a lot. It's just like I said, I'm recording with one hand. All right. Y'all can fast forward this video if y'all want, because I know it's kind of boring, so. Just loosen them up right now because I want to actually try to take them off with my fingers with my hands because some guy said that it'd be a pain in the ass if you drop one and it went down, down that way so I'm not trying to lose any screws I'm so sorry about the cursing, but it just comes out. There's so little room to work around here. pretty much making this damn video in the dark it's crazy all right move this shit out the way now i'm gonna take them off with my fingers what the fuck that's how little the screws are i guess all right let me put them somewhere where i don't know i'm sorry about These screws are tiny. Yeah, you gotta be super careful because if you drop them down in there, it'll be a pain in the ass. Try to get them. Also made this video I'm also making this video because for one it's content what the hold on all right okay once you take these screws off out guys 
the fuel pump kind of pops up. So I'm guessing the screws are there to hold it down, to compress it down. All right, now, this is the moment. All right, gotta lift this up. And you know what? Let me put my gloves on, because I hate, I hate um, messing with this gasoline shit with my bare hands just because I hate the smell, you know, just, just don't like it, guys. Call me a puss all you want, but it is what it is. Let me put my gloves on real quick. Hold on. All right, we're back at it. Got my gloves on. All right, now, after you're taken, all the screws out like i said thing pops up the fuel pump kind of comes up a little bit so now you just pull it out holy fuck you gotta kind of i guess there's gas in there There's gas in this fuel pump. There we go. You gotta kinda maneuver it out, I guess, cause of the... Cause of the floater. Clip it. There's a clip right here, guys, that you got to um, unclip before pulling this out. This right here. Oh, my goodness. All right. Okay, guys. Give me one second. Let me put y'all down again because, god damn. I gotta give me a tripod or something.
There's definitely no way I can do this with one hand. And of course I spill fucking gas everywhere again. <sighs> Well, good thing, guys. I got a fuel. I got a full tank, pretty much. There it is. Yeah, I got it. 